Let's talk about the last few questions. Okay, the first, which is interpret the slope and y-intercept of your graph. I usually like to start with y-intercept because uh, it's more straightforward to me. Um, so our y-intercept is 0, 1,200, which means uh, when x is 0 or when he sells $0 of cars or no cars, he makes $1,200, which makes sense. He gets that as his base salary, so if he sold 0 cars, he'd still get $1,200. So that's what we write for our interpretation there. Now our slope our is rise of 1,500, run of 40K, right? Because we go from 1,500 up to 3,000. That's plus 1,500. And we go from 10,000 all the way over to 50,000. So that's a run of 40K. Now, if we want to write that out, we would write the run is $1,500 of salary, Sorry, the rise is $1,500 in salary, and the run is $40,000 in car sales. And if you write your slope as a fraction, I'll repeat that. If you write your slope as a fraction and read it as a rate, that is the easiest way to interpret slope. So this reads, he makes $1,500 of salary for every $40,000 worth of cars he sells. So that makes sense to us. Right, because he's only making 0 .0, he's only making three percent on every car he sells. So he needs to sell a lot more cars to make a little bit of money. Okay, it's tough out there for car salesmen. Let's talk about the next two questions, which are the total of the sales prices of all the vehicles Sid sold during the first month was seventy-two thousand uh, dollars. What was Sid's total income during that month? So total sales price of all vehicles for month one that equates to all car money back from our independent variable and dependent variable so we know we're plugging that in for x so we plug it in here we simplify and we know that y is three thousand three hundred sixty dollars for month one okay remember we do multiplication first then we add and we're done now the next problem in order to make six thousand in a single month that sounds like salary, which we know is y. Okay, so we plug in six thousand for y. We solve for x. We're going to start with a subtraction on both sides. Gets us forty-eight hundred. Then we know we got to do the inverse of this multiplication here, which is division, and that cancels it out, and we're left with x equals this division, which leads to one hundred sixty thousand, which makes sense. 0 0.03 is going to go into 4,800 a lot of times, 160,000 times. So he needs to sell $160,000 worth of cars in order to make 6,000 in a month. There you go.